It's a vending yeah. machine full of runner stuff. miles today eight minutes something per mile I'm not exactly sure I kind of messed up my Garmin today in terms of keeping track of my paces because I was really distracted by the Lululemon vending machine that was out there along the lakefront now I had seen a picture of it yesterday on Instagram and uh, I saw that they had put that out there and I thought I want to go check this thing out because uh, it was a little bit weird and unexpected so I, uh, I looked for it on my run yesterday I didn't quite see it so I thought maybe it was just like a very short pop-up kind of thing uh, but I ran by again today and sure enough it was there I talked to the person uh, kind of manning the the vending machine and she said that it's out there from nine to five uh, and so it's not going to be there all day I think I ran by that same spot a little bit after five o'clock uh, so that's why I might have missed it but I thought it was just like a thing that would have been nice to have some runner stuff in there but this Lululemon vending machine had runner stuff that was for free and it wasn't just snacks they had uh, honey stingers uh, which is what I had today it was the first time I had one of those uh, but they had some gels in there in case you ran out or forgot your gels uh, they even had like Advil and a first aid kit and uh, if you forgot things like or needed a different pair of socks, uh, I know a lot of you worry about me tromping through the water and, uh, and my socks, uh, but you can try that now too and then go to this running vending machine and pick up a dry pair of socks. Uh, they had hats too in case you forgot your hat. Uh, and so you could, there's a lot of stuff in there and it was all free. I was expecting or at least hoping that I could pay for it with my phone, uh, but it was free that was out there. Uh, a nice little thing that Lululemon Chicago uh, is doing. So uh, very happy about that. It'll be out there. I talked to the person there. She said, it'll be out there, like I said, from nine to five, which I think most of you watching this aren't gonna be able to go check it out during those hours, but I think it'll be there on the weekends, those same hours. Uh, and I. She said it was going to be out there till mid-October. I don't know if that just means till after the marathon, which is October 7th, uh, or if that's going to be out there a little bit longer. Uh, and that'll be nice because there was water in there too. And I think that by like October, most of the water fountains are going to be turned off along the lakefront path. I think some of them still be on, but a lot of the smaller ones uh, will, will start getting shut off by that time. So that'll be a nice little thing uh, to have there. Uh, in terms of the weather that we had for today's run, uh, and eating that uh, honey stinger on today's run. I could see why a lot of runners enjoy it. Uh, it had a good flavor. Uh, it's nice to eat something uh, and was relatively easy to eat as far as you know actually running while eating goes. And so that was all good. But I don't know that I will run with those frequently because it seemed a little bit fragile and a little bit big. So it's not really something I could put in a pocket, uh, but a nice post-race snack or post-run snack, I think uh, it would be good for that. Uh, the weather that we had today was just absolutely gorgeous. It was in uh, the 50s or 60s, I think, uh, and perfect for just shorts and a t-shirt running out there. I wanted it to be a little bit more of a recovery run, but 
the weather was just so nice i just kind of went with it uh, and had a really good time out there today uh, we actually had zero wind on the run today which is extremely weird for chicago especially as the, the seasons change at the change of the seasons the winds just start whipping around and they're crazy and unpredictable and tend to give you a headwind on both directions out and back on your runs so that's just the way the weather goes here uh, in terms of the weather though uh, I've been, we're at the point now where we can start seeing that 10 day forecast for the Chicago Marathon. And 10 day forecasts are not all that reliable out here just because the weather does change so quickly. Um, for example, I, uh, I tweeted earlier today, or yesterday I think, that uh, I was walking around downtown for lunch and on um, a little digital sign there was, you know, that normally has ads. Uh, one of the ads was a message from the city saying that there's a thunderstorm watch in effect. But if you looked directly up, it was like a cloudless blue sky. Uh, and then sure enough, a couple hours later, there were thunderstorms um, rolling through the area. And so that's just the way that the weather is around here. Um, and I don't really put too much stock in a 10 day forecast, but uh, I probably will from this point on uh, do, do two things. One of the things is every video from now on uh, to the marathon is probably going to talk about weather in some way, or at least the weather forecast in some way. Uh, and so far it looks like it's going to be relatively comfortable running conditions, although there's a chance of, of rain. I don't think there's a chance of thunderstorms, but there's a chance of rain. Um, so that's uh, a possibility as of now this far out um, so that's probably going to change as we get closer but the other thing i'll do is as we get much closer to the race and have a better idea of what the weather is going to be like uh, i'll put together a video talking about what i'll be wearing both you know to the race in the corrals and during the race in terms of how uh, the weather is going to affect both uh, what i wear and also some of my pacing strategies and things like that so definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to see any of those videos uh, or updates leading up to the marathon uh, i think that's about it that's all i have for for today's video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow yo what's going on